dude i'm going through so much can you just slow down again i'm not a doctor guys what do i know <laughs> so trust me bro <laughs> that's what this is too much information my apologies hello dumelang anyang hasei ha hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me if you're a new subscriber welcome welcome i hope you enjoy it here we have so much fun this side and if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys for always checking out my videos and stuff so yeah man it's so hard okay as you guys can see in today's video we'll be doing girl talk i think this is like my first episode yeah girl talk but yeah from the title of the video you guys can see we are talking about contraceptives more especially in korea how to get them my experience with it and yeah man without talking too much let's get into the video in my last video you guys saw her i was at the gyne and then a couple of people let me do that youtube thing a lot of you guys asked me <laughs> I'm joking i'm joking it was literally like three people you know who asked me if she does birth control and stuff and i was like you know what let me just make this video and it will benefit all of us anyway so yeah man let's let's talk about it let's talk about it so yeah. okay before i start i have to state her i'm not a doctor i'm not a nurse i'm not a medical professional in any capacity i'm just here to talk about my experience and stuff like that Ribuela got feelings it's just feelings i'm not giving you advice none of that are we good we're good <laughs> okay so in today's video i'm going to be talking about like i said uh, how i experienced the iud how much it cost the side effects and all of that so yeah man i've had my iud for like two and a half years now i got it in november of 2021 my memory might be a bit you know fuzzy but yeah i think that's when i got it because i remember specifically it was in winter so yeah i've had it for two and a half years and let's talk about how it's been going so far i jotted down some notes so that i don't have to forget anything hopefully so number one which one i have and how long i've had it like i mentioned i have the iud the kalina iud i believe that's the plastic one i might be mistaken so yeah and how long have i had it i've had it for two and a half years and so far i am extremely happy with it so yeah when did i get it okay so the steps into which you go about getting it um i got it from dr lee dr lee is in Daegu. she is amazing shout out to dr lee i got her contact from mpumi again shout out to mpumi thank you so much for hooking me up girl yeah dr lee is amazing she is in Daegu. my first consultation you get there um they take your weight your blood pressure they do a pregnancy test they do an std and sci check you know just to make sure that everything is okay and then you guys consult about like the different types of uh birth control methods the different types of birth control methods that they offer i will insert a picture here um i don't know how to like you know what man youtube should have like a section where you can attach when you can like put an attachment not necessarily a link to a video or like a song or anything but like a picture you know if there is one my apologies <laughs> to Kitty. but i don't know i just think there should be a section where i can like you know like drop off type of thing but anyway yeah um oh yeah and then when you leave you guys discuss which one would work for you what have you had in the past how it treated you and stuff like that and then you guys set up your appointment for like the procedure now and then once you've decided on the one that you want which i got the iud um she gave me two pills okay so the first pill you have to take the night before and then the second one come at 6 a.m yeah you wake up on an empty stomach i didn't have to eat did i have to eat 
I can't remember. I think I'm just used to like whenever you have to go to the doctor, they advise that you don't eat. But yeah, at 6 a.m. I had to take another pill. And those were muscle relaxers, you know, just to make sure okay, your muscles down there are relaxed because like everything is just tight, I guess. Again, I'm not a doctor, guys. What do I know? <laughs> so trust me, bro. <laughs> That's what we're going. <laughs> Okay, I give it serious. Yeah, but um, and I appreciate that so much because when I was watching other videos, because now whenever I have like a new experience that I have to take part in, I like to go on YouTube and I watched a bunch of videos and oh my goodness, was I not scared? Because everyone was like, they fainted, it was painful, it was the worst thing that they've ever done. So now I was quite freaked out and I think she could also tell because I told her when we were doing our consultation for her, I am extremely freaked out and maybe that's why she also recommended this one because um yeah it's permanent i tried the pill didn't work out you know keep forgetting you're not always at home at that specific time yeah so this one is kind of permanent and that's the one that i went with so the day of your procedure like i mentioned they give you the two muscle relaxes you get they they injected my bum with something i'm guessing it's um like tylenol or pain medication or something and then they also gave me an IV drip and then it's time for the procedure you walk in and guys I don't want to lie when you walk in because now nah, like Hakimoto who visits the doctor a lot so I'm always I'm always nervous to say and then you get there and there's like all these instruments again I'll insert a picture so that and you're like oh my goodness what is that what are you doing to me you know they had this long needle a needle like thing they also have that thing that they use when you go for like your pap smear and then like yeah that type of thing so yeah man and you're just looking at it like oh my goodness what are you guys gonna do to me but yeah you know the nurse and the doctor they were nice you know they're like just calm down relax the lady took my hand i didn't want to let go <laughs> At some point, she had to like you know jerk her hand away because obviously she has other things to do and stuff like that. And then they put the not oxygen. What is it called? Oh my goodness, yes, anesthesia. And then all I can remember was we were talking. She was asking me a couple of questions, and then go. Oh. I was out obviously you don't really feel yourself going out because the next thing is oh yeah we finished you can wake up now wake up can't see what happened and now nah, honestly I appreciate the fact that I was put under because I don't think I would have gone through with it was anesthesia not an option again this is where you guys can correct me when I was watching a lot of the YouTube videos I noticed where um, a lot of the well, all the vid most of the videos that I watched were from the US and anesthesia was not administered. I don't know, is it allowed that side? But, or maybe is it a norm this side? I actually haven't spoken to anyone who also has the IUD and they got it here to figure out if it's like a thing where you have to use anesthesia. And I appreciate that a lot because other girls are like, oh my gosh, I had a heart attack when that happened where I just passed out and yeah. I was I was definitely not gonna do that if anesthesia was not an option so yeah you wake up um, they take you to King say recovery and stuff and then they give you tea or water or whatever it is that you want just to like monitor and make sure for everything is fine also so that the anesthesia can wear off you know and yeah after my three minutes if you feel like you are okay then you are good to go um Afterwards, I only started feeling pain like 20 minutes when I was on the bus and I was like, oh damn, it just kind of hits you. Oh, I also forgot to mention when you're leaving, uh, they give you a pad or like a panty liner um, because you will be bleeding and stuff. So also side note, if this is too much information, my apologies. Um, actually, no, I'm not apologizing because <laughs> I don't believe in too much information a because and b 
it's something that we all go through as women and girls you know so i only started feeling pain the pain was like at a at a six and i think it was a six because like i mentioned i got mine in winter it was cold so you guys know when it's that time of the month you just want something warm to like put on your stomach and stuff and i was on the bus and you guys know the drivers here like carry more fast and furious and stuff so i'm like dude i'm going through so much can you just slow down <laughs> and stuff like that but it was okay shame um and i'm also saying a six because not naturally i'm not someone who who gets like a lot of period pains they're like at a two for me so if it's six it's not that that bad if you get what i'm saying so yeah it was manageable for me so so i'm guessing if your periods pains are like normally like way worse then you'd be at like a four type of vibe but again depending on what type of pain medication you have and what your tolerance is okay um now side effects after i got that um i i was spotting for like six weeks yeah yeah it was it was a while shame like every day you can imagine it was it was not fun it was just inconvenient like for six weeks guys like you know, i was over it at that point but then it just stopped out of nowhere my period stopped for like i think a year and a half or so and now personally i had no issues with that i was happy <laughs> I was vibing i know there are a lot of people when they don't because it's not a natural thing for you to not be like menstruating every month i had no issue with it i was just vibing i was like i am good i don't have to worry every month like, oh my gosh i'm gonna have to go through that cycle again so i was living my best life for like a year and a half and then they eventually came back now it's every month i know her, you know I'm on track and stuff like that. Some people say, uh, even after like the whole six week spotting period, they just get them normally. Some people do stop. So, I, so I'm also guessing it's like dependent on you and your body and stuff. Another side effect that I saw a lot of people talking about is acne. Luckily for me, I did not have to experience all of that. So I've been good, man. I've been chilled. It's it's been okay so far so yeah and then afterwards when you leave the appointment they also tell you you have to come back in like a couple of weeks or so just so that the doctors can make sure that everything is fine everything is sitting in place it hasn't moved none of that uh funny business and stuff and um what else yeah that's about it another question that i also get quite often is um can you feel it can you feel it? Yeah. <laughs> Ask it. Ask it. No. Um, you cannot feel it. Not you. I personally cannot feel it. I don't think you're supposed to. But again, what do I know? Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to feel it. But yeah, no, I can't feel it. I've just... I've been good so far. So... It's a you guys. But yeah, man, that's, yeah, that's about it. Um, pricing, yes. I paid, I'll put pricing and everything up here. I paid 400,000. I know it's a bit, you know, but for, yeah, I paid 400,000 Um, and I think it was 400,000 won because Dr. Lee is like a private clinic, I think. And then obviously when you go to, the hospital i don't think it would be that much uh just check and then i also paid an extra one hundred thousand, and that was for the anesthesia i don't know if you can i don't know if they do it without the anesthesia if you do go just check with her if you think you'll be able to do it without the anesthesia then good for you boo boo um yeah but so far i'm happy with it it's been amazing um yeah man did i miss anything i don't think i missed anything uh yeah if you guys have any questions please let me know i will link dr lee's 
offers like the address in the description below if you guys have any questions ask me in the comments if you guys would like to add anything if you are a health professional and you feel as though i've misrepresented some things please let me know guys um like i said what do i know so tell me which one you use are you happy with it and stuff like that so yeah man we are finished um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was informative uh, i'll see you guys again next week hopefully please do check out my other videos and yeah so much and bye bye